Hello friend, it's Mark out in the back 40. And in this episode today, I've been thinking about what am I gonna do to start putting more information out there. And I've been spending a lot of time on food plots and no-till planting and that kind of stuff. But that season's kind of come to an end right now. It's uh, early November, it's the heart of hunting season here in Michigan right now. And I just don't think that I wanna go over food plot stuff anymore until spring. There's really nothing new to go over. But I have done a lot of really important things on this property to make it better over the last five years. And so I think I can help you a lot by giving you some ideas and helping you think about your own property and your own hunting strategy, maybe differently than you have been, or at least maybe um, challenge you a little bit to think differently to get better, right? That's the only way we get better is if we get challenged. And so um, what, what I wanna do though, is maybe give you a little evidence-based information. I sh show you why I think some of the things I'm gonna cover, some of the strategies I'm gonna cover in the next few videos are worth listening to. Um, I never intended to make whatever I'm gonna show you right now public, so it's really kind of goofy. Um, but, oops, wrong one. But what I did one year was I listed, started listing all the deer that we've harvested on this property. And I've owned the property since the late 90s, but I started this in 2012. And I think the reason I started in 2012 is because I thought I was real badass. I shot a two and a half year old buck, which is phenomenal for this piece of property. And uh, at that time it was. And so I said, wow, I'm gonna start documenting all this stuff. Because the first one I get to put on there is a nice buck. Anyways, um, but the, 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 the property has changed over time. And this list since 2012 shows you what has happened and shows you the story to maybe give you some evidence and confidence that the things I'm gonna talk about in these upcoming videos are worth listening to. Um, you know, 2012, and uh, there was a time here, if you look at what has happened here over time, you know, a lot of does, a lot of does, a lot of young bucks. You know, we even get to the point in 2016 where we didn't even harvest a deer. That was bad. I think that's when I got so frustrated. It's like, that's it. I'm going to get a consultant out here. I'm going to study. I'm going to look. I'm going to figure out. I got to change. So something has to change. And so we did that and we started making changes. And then you can see in 2017, it started turning around. We started seeing deer again and we started getting bucks again. In the last year, last year was unbelievable. It has never been this good because we harvested three bucks and two of them were three and a half years old and one of them was two and a half years old. Now, I don't know if we had ever harvested a three and a half year old buck before that. I mean, it, it just, it's so different now. The property is so much better now. The setups are so much better now. And this list this is the only reason I'm showing you this. It's kind of embarrassing, it's kind of goofy, but I only show you this so that you can see the history of, and the evidence that maybe some of the things I'm doing uh, are worth listening to. So. So those are coming up. So I'm gonna spend some time kind of going over what I think are the top things I've done to help contribute to this change and maybe some of the things that I've done that had nothing to do with this change. So uh, subscribe if you haven't already, just kind of keep an eye on what's going on, hit the little bell so that when I finally get time to put another video out there that'll talk about this stuff more in depth, uh, you'll get notified of it, all right? All right, thanks for watching.